Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this video. In a previous one, I explained how I got my start as a celebrity wardrobe stylist, but in this episode, I'm gonna give you guys some advice on how you can get started. Okay, so if you are trying to break into this industry, I have a few little pieces of advice. Obviously, getting your foot in the door is super important. In my experience, I searched and searched for the stylist that I admired the most, and I basically just banged down their door <laughs> until they agreed to take a meeting with me and just figure out what kinds of stylists you want to work for and go after them. Do it in a professional way. Do not slide in their DMs. Find their email, find their assistant, find a way for them to see your email and make it impactful, make it interesting. If you are in a place where you're, you know, you're not in LA, you're not in New York, you're not in Europe, whatever, just start practicing, just start putting looks together, do it for yourself, do it for your friends, do it for your family. Just start getting your feet wet. Just do whatever you can to sort of nurture your craft. If it's something you love, you're gonna enjoy doing it. Your friends are obviously gonna love it. Start working on an online presence. Put your looks on Instagram, put them on TikTok. You never know who's gonna see them and like them and wanna meet with you. I believe in the universe and I believe in putting energy into something that you want. And so like show the universe how much you want something and it will flow and it will be given to you, I promise. Once you've obviously gotten your feet wet, you're excited about it, I hate to tell you this, but you really do need to live in a city where this is actually happening. If you're serious about this, at some point you have to make the decision to really chase your dreams and be here. You know, whether that's, like I said, it's here in New York, I would say those are the two big US cities where you're gonna find the most work. And then obviously amazing things happen in Europe, but that's like a different conversation. I did it, I mean, I started in New York, but I basically just one day decided like, if I really want this and I really wanna work with celebrities, I have to be in LA, but I just got myself here and I figured it out. Figure out the agencies, figure out the stylists and their assistants, get your info over, make it impactful and interesting and do it in a professional way that sets yourself apart from others. So during the pandemic, obviously so many of us were trying to figure out how to work or how to start new businesses. And a thought that I had and something I'd always wanted to do was to help up and coming stylists get their foot in the door. And my team and I sat down and we basically constructed a curriculum of a styling series that we did over Zoom. This wasn't just me sitting in front of a computer with like a weird glam light. I hired an entire production company once it was safe enough to have a few people in a room. We basically came together, we had a few cameramen, we had lights, and we recorded this class. We had almost 300 people watching us from all over the world. We had students from LA to the Midwest, all the way to Qatar. It was so wild and it was so exciting and I was able to connect with everyone. We opened up the class for questions and answers. They were able to interact with me. It was an amazing experience. And after doing it, I realized I wanted to continue. And so we basically have decided to do it in person in Los Angeles, simultaneously airing it over Zoom. So if you're unable to travel to LA to meet me and to be in the room with us, you can actually participate via Zoom at the exact same moment it's live. We'll be taking questions from the audience in person as well as on Zoom. So you're still getting an amazing experience even if you can't make it to LA, but we are doing this March 12th in Los Angeles as well as on Zoom. So, I, you know, everyone keeps asking like, what's better doing it on Zoom, doing it on person? I am obviously really, like I'm an energy person and it definitely helps to meet you and to get a feeling for you and your vibe and if it's a nice connection and also getting to meet my assistants. My assistant Rachel is gonna be there, Nick's gonna be there, my agents, my publicists, and also fellow stylists who are also looking for interns. So my old assistant Morgan, who you guys have seen on this channel, is coming to do the class as well. So she can talk about her experience going from being my assistant all the way up to being this incredible amazing stylist today that has her own clients and her own business and her own clothing line so i really wanted you guys to get a full range 
of experience. So we're gonna talk about how I started my clothing line, how we started YouTube. So just sort of giving you a well-rounded experience. If you're not sure whether to do it in person or online, obviously in person is better. You have a better chance of like making an impact and making a mark and me remembering you. And at the end of the class, like we did with the Zoom series, we created a Facebook group where everyone gets to stay in touch with each other. We check in. If we're looking for new interns, we'll go to the group. But more importantly, what I think is so cool is from our last class, all of the participants are still in touch with each other. They're helping each other. They're saying like, hey, I heard so-and-so is looking for interns or assistants right now. And so it's just sort of created an amazing network for you guys, you know, once the class is over. And so we'll add you into that network. As soon as we wrap the class, you'll receive a certificate of completion so that if someone asks you, you know, you can add that to your portfolio. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to meet people. We were supposed to do this in January and decided with just the new variant of COVID, we were gonna push till March and I am excited. I feel like it's gonna be like safer and you know, a better time to do it. So I can't wait. To my knowledge, no one in my industry has done anything like this. I got so much incredible feedback from my fellow stylists after honestly, everyone's sort of like, damn, I wish I thought of that myself. I am just a big believer in service and in giving back. And so being able to do this for people was really an honor. I didn't have this, you know, coming up. I didn't have a place to go or a person to ask or a class to take. To have been able to figure out how to like streamline all this information and give it to you guys, you know, it was really important to me and I'm really glad that I've had that opportunity. I've had, you know, I've had amazing experiences with girls coming up to me in LA that said they took the class and it totally changed their life or it sort of like gave them that momentum they needed to really chase their dreams and so many of them have ended up with different stylists. We have a few working for me. And I really feel like they came in prepared and knew what they were doing and obviously were excited for the opportunity. And I am just grateful to have had a tiny little bit, you know, of like part of someone's journey if they could tell you what got them in the door and it was taking that class you know, that's really like the honor. So if you guys want more information or you wanna sign up for the class, I'm leaving it in the description of this video. You can find us online and you can send us a message directly from our website. I can't wait to meet you guys and see you in person on March 12th.